The first Jaguars were produced in 1935 in England, and since then, the auto brand has made a name for itself among luxury buyers. Between designing the industry's first disc brakes to producing the world's fastest production car, Jaguar has had a busy century. So maybe now is a good time to take a few months off. Autocar recently interviewed the car maker's managing director Rod and Glover, who revealed an unorthodox strategic choice that puts Jaguar on ice for a while in 2025. Specifically, the company, who had previously announced a plan to phase out ICE vehicles in favor of a full line of EVs, is doing just that. It's the timing that doesn't quite nest. While its gas cars will be discontinued in its native UK in 2025, the company's electrics won't be ready to replace them. And with Jaguar expecting to not have its new EVs until 2026, that means almost a year without new cars in dealer showrooms. Glover said that at least in the UK, quote, there will be a period where you will not be able to buy a Jaguar, and that dealers would have to focus on pre-owned inventory and after-sales service revenue. Inside EV says the latest plan leaves us with a, quote, unclear picture of how it impacts the U.S. market. Though looser regulations around fuel efficiency may mean Jaguar can continue to sell its gas vehicles right up to the transition with no gap. The report adds that Jaguar's team, quote, seems committed to an all-electric future, but it's going to end up a kind of wholesale rebirth for the company. And it might be an exciting one. The company has teased its newest reveal, a render of its electric Grand Tour, due to be unveiled in December, though unavailable until 2026. Jaguar says it's the most powerful car it's ever sold. Hopefully that means it's worth waiting for. I'm Nolan Bilstein, this is Manufacturing Now.